Donna? Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Just want to thank you for your rail information of the Derby. Me or Donna? Donna. Uh, Donna. I'm, I'm Zoe. Oh, Zoe. I'm sorry. It's okay. Yeah. No, it was good information, though. Yeah. Yeah. She was spot on. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Hey, no, I mean, it happens all the time. Is that right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I take it as a compliment. I'm not sure Donna feels the same way. <laughs> Bob Baffert earlier, I said you can have the fourth spot, you'll take the fifth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. how, um, how important is it to come fresh to this? I mean, you have this advantage. Uh, the history doesn't say that. Um, fresh is great. We, we, we sit around and analyze and think about all that stuff, but uh, I think history will bear me out that uh, the Derby winner brings the cream to the top, and when he comes back in here, if he's healthy, he's the one to beat in every year. And uh, we haven't found that the fresh horses coming in here have done that well. It's the ones that have been tried, true, and tested earlier. As well as Orba's run, as good as he looks, what's going to have to happen for him to get beat on Saturday? Well, again, it's hard to you got to be careful of putting that much emphasis on one race. Uh, if you look at it and really dissect it right down to the fractions coming home in 26 and some of the other stuff, you know, it's not quite as overwhelming as you might think. So you change the surface, you shorten the race, you change the configuration, you put him into one hole. Uh, these are things he'll have to overcome. Now, he's the best horse. It's his race to lose. I don't have any question about that. But it, it isn't as easy as you might think. What makes it so difficult to win the Triple Crown? Why has no horse won it since 1978? Well, we're not breeding them that well. Uh, we're breeding more for speed. We're breeding confirmation. Those guys in Kentucky have figured out that the horses that sell well are the ones that they want to breed. They don't really... Uh, get too concerned about step two and how they're going to turn out as racehorses. They just want it to look good and they breed them that way. And that's good. That's the economics of it. Um, the other thing, it's a very difficult series. It's no longer a three race series. It's about a five race series. Those prep races going in, the Florida Derby, Santa Anita, Derby, Wood, Arkansas, Derby, those races are very, very difficult and they take their toll. So by the time you get to the Belmont, you know, you've got a little wear and tear on these horses. You Baffert, had, uh, Baffert said a little while ago, this is the easiest one. Is it is for me. Yeah, I think it is for me too. I think it, I think it is probably the easiest one. It's the most fun one, but it's the easiest one. I think, if I could be so bold, I think he and I maybe train a little towards that. Uh, our style of training fits this race better than the other two. Uh, statistically, I guess that holds up too. We both won five. So, uh, that might be a little bit how we're, you know, how we're preparing, and it might be a little bit, Rick, about the type of horse we select. You know, we select, for, both of us select horses that are forwardly placed as a rule, and we train them that way. You've had starters here recently, mainly long shots, but now you have three, you know, platoon, if you will, and some horses, odds-wise, that are, are getting a lot of respect. Is this, like, reconnaissance, Lucas, or, you know, talk about, they come back here in the Preakness. Well, I never felt I was very far away, but maybe I have. Maybe I'm not in reality. I've set in. I don't know. I, I always felt that we were competitive in other years too. But uh, we feel a little bit stronger this year. To answer your question, obviously, we're, I think our horses are better. Uh, we're more competitive. Last year, we brought a, a horse that's very good on the grass, but uh, my clientele wanted to run him in the Triple Crown, and we did. And he didn't embarrass us by any means, but uh, we knew all along that once we switched him to the grass, he's going to get a lot better. So now this year, I think we're running two. We're, we're probably stretching our imagination a little bit with one of them, but the other two damn sure fit. Yeah. You're Donna. Yes. Yeah. Thank you for the rail information on the Derby. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah. Happy to do it. Real appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. Oh. He's on the ground.